Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechCore. In today's video, I'll we'll do the speed test and RAM management test comparison between the Realme Exxon Max versus Realme GT smartphone. And during this time of demonstration, I'll try to use the high performance mode from the Realme Exxon Max and I'll try to use the GT mode from the Realme GT. Let's say using these both modes, which phone will be able to manage in terms of opening these small gains faster. That is what my main point of making this video. Right now, let me to start uh, first by restarting the both phones. So the reason why I'm making this kind of video is because with using the high performance mode, I did see a lot of changes has happened in the Realme Exxon Max. Yes, there's a huge change. So in terms of the video exporting as well, just before this video I uploaded friends, so you can see it did come very close to the Realme GT. In fact, it did do better than the Realme GT with the Snapdragon 88 processor. So I thought that is the reason maybe I thought of uh, testing with this kind of speed test using only the high performance mode between both phones just to get the confirmation what is happening with the speed test results. So this will give you the clear idea what is going on and let me try to clear everything from the background so everything is completely clean from the background and let me try to enable the GT mode. GT mode is enabled successfully in the Realme GT model as you can see and in the Realme Exxon Max I need to enable the high performance mode. Let's go to battery settings and uh, High performance mode is enabled as you can see exactly it's done and let me to open the 10 applications 10 games which i'm going to open right now as you can see friends everything is completely clean and i'm trying to use the 8 plus 5 gb 8 plus 5 gb of ram expansion in both phones so let's get started friends without wasting any time first game is the subways of game so using high performance mode versus the realme gt mode how much speed can it be the difference between both phones candy crush not bad so slightly kind of close to each other let's see the getaway 2 damage to 1200 versus snapdragon 888 processor so temple run which is highest from the damage to process we can get in india in which is also highest from the snapdragon process which we can actually get in india which is a diamond snapdragon 888 and the damage to 1200 both phones not bad the realme x and max just a little bit slow let's see in this game Smash it slightly faster that Snapdragon 88 processor, not an issue. And let's see this game, Crossy Roads, not bad. Just a little bit faster, I think the Realme X Max. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Very very tiny second different. And right now, Traffic Rider, not bad. Both phones did open this game at same time. Hill climb racing. It's fantastic, not an issue. So both phones did very good job, very close to each other. Angry Birds 2. I think the Realme X and Max maybe just a little bit, not a huge yes. I think the Realme GT did open this game, not an issue. And next is final game, which is a stake ball. Let's see this game. So this is a test which I'm trying to use with the high performance mode and GT mode enabled. So I did not do this kind of test before friends that is the reason I am really excited to see how is the performance and how much is the RAM availability between both phones 1.99 GB and 2.29 GB available as you can see exactly after opening this 10 games. So after opening these 10 games let's see friends which phone will be having what kind of how many games in the background RAM management. I am trying to start from the last game in both phones and ill climb racing not an issue so till 3 games both phones did a very good job. And even this game also did very good job, not an, no problem. And Crossy Roads did not get open in the Realme X and Max, just a little bit. And Smash It, both phones didn't get open. As you can see, it's a Smash It game, no problem. Temple Run, so usually what happens is that both phones can actually do only five games. Yes, five games, but sometimes four and five, it varies sometimes. But maximum, it'll, they will try to do only five games. But applications are different. Applications both phones can do a really good job in the applications, but games is different That is the reason I thought of mentioning all these things before starting the video as well So is the surface up as you can see from the clear difference how it is between both phones So the clear winner or I think both devices sometimes the realme GT did open I think most of the games faster than the realme X and max device So even if you're using the high performance mode It doesn't affect any kind of speeds in terms of the opening speeds and in terms of the RAM management speed and it cannot dominate dominate this realme GT smartphone so That's it friends. Thank you for watching and in case if you're having any other queries Let me know in the comment section below. So meanwhile signing off Bye